Hey friends, Jessica here with a quick tutorial recap. So in this tutorial I recorded live on Behance. We created this snake motif and you'll actually be quite shocked I think at how easy it is. First of all, obviously I'm using my embroidery brushes for Photoshop that have been featured recently on Behance and they've been everybody's favorite lately but we, it, it was really easy to make this and I'm just gonna give you a little preview. I've got this nice uh, snake motif here. I think my embroidery brushes are in their reputation era. And what I also inc uh, included for you um, guys that are subscribers, you get all of the tutorial resources. Um, you can even use this design in items for sale as long as it's part of a new something new and you get the loaded brushes. So it's a lot of fun. It's like a little um, kit that's already got everything uh, put together for you. So it's um, a lot of fun to be a subscriber and get those extra things so you don't have to um, hunt up the brushes as well. So um, that's the starter file. So I'm just going to go ahead and close that. This is the snake that I made before the live stream. And then, of course, I always make a slightly weirder version while I'm doing my live. But, you know, what can you do? And I'm going to show you some of the brushes that I used, and they're all from the embroidery collection. But here we're going to see them in action. So this is 103 palette 15, but look at how you can really see. Um, I just love all the detail that you can get. It's like really like painting fabric down there, and you can, and it's directional, and it's all of those fibers. It's really amazing. Sometimes I'm still amazed at what I was able to achieve with these brushes. And here we go, you can kind of see this little um, fabric sort of uh, effect that you're getting there. And I always say embroidery, but there's also a lot of fiber and fabric brushes in this collection. So here obviously is one of the main brushes that I used um, on the snake. That's a brush 63 palette 8. So every brush has a brush number and then a palette number because you can use all different palettes for different techniques. So here is um, a little nice little X stitch. So that just really gives it kind of that handmade look. And then here we've got a single stitch that I used. And I also uh, did some of the edges in this gold, which I think is really cool. And then this one, I think I ended up not using it on the final one, but it was similar to the first brush that I used, brush 103, but it was a different palette and I love that pink. So. That could be something fun to do, like if I wanted to add more of a background to it. But that is the tutorial recap, so let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you guys on the next one.